But right now we have a very special surprise. As part of our HSN Cooks event, you know we are br bringing in the, the biggest and the best celebrity chefs. And right now we are welcoming Mark Murphy, who needs no introduction for all of us that love the show Chopped. Well, thank we you. know that you're a celebrity judge. And of course, you've got all your restaurants. You're about to open a new one right here in Tampa, I heard. I am. I'm very excited about it. Oh my it. gosh, you have no idea how excited I am. I'm so excited to be here. Okay, so what Mark is bringing to us is a very limited edition an autographed cookbook full of more than 130 recipes, but not just recipes with crazy ingredients that sometimes we can see on television. These are recipes with ingredients that we can find in our grocery store that are easy to prepare for our family. It's limited edition, it's autographed, and we're down to our final 900. It's $12.48 for 900 of you that can run to your phone lines right now. Well, it's very so exciting. Easy you know, this is, I feel like this is the, this is the, uh, this is the missing piece right here. Because yeah. you've been selling the eggs, uh -huh. Ming Fry's uh, fryer. The I fryer. was just thinking one of the recipes in here is a deviled egg. You need that. You need you need the egg cooker. Yes. And then it goes with a fried oyster on top of it. Perfect. And it would be a perfect little match. Hey, look, I opened right to the oyster. Oh, no, that, that's the, that's a linguine con bongoli. That's one of my favorite recipes. We serve that at Landmark every Friday. At your restaurants? You pre oh. oh, yes, absolutely. I love that. So what are you preparing now? I'm making a little uh, mussels provençal. So I just have a little shallots, a little uh, garlic, a little white wine. We're going to steam those guys open and then we're going to finish it off with a little ratatouille, which is my, my grandmother's favorite recipe. She was, uh, she lived in the south of France. I was born in was Italy. My mother's, my mother was French. I'm a bit of a, I'm a bit of a mutt in that sense, yeah. but I ate well as a kid. <laughs> I can only imagine in France Absolutely. and Italy and all the, and so many inspirations in this cookbook come from, from growing up. Um, and of course being in the, uh, in the, in the, um, industry for more than 25 years. Yes. A so couple. talk to us about, um, the name of the book is Season with Authority. So that's what I'm doing right now. You're I'm seasoning, seasoning with, with authority. authority. <laughs> what you does know that what? mean? People are afraid to season. And, you know, I always have the best story. I, I, I was over at some friend's house with my kids, mm -hmm. and they were, they were, they were like, uh, this woman was cooking steaming broccoli for the kids. Yeah. I said, aren't these kids allowed to have some, some flavor? I said, let's put some salt and pepper and some olive oil. And the kids sense. were like, oh my gosh, this is the best broccoli I've ever had. So that's that's where that's where I came up with the name of the book. I said, we got to season our food. If you don't season the food properly, it's not going to taste good. You know, and that makes so much sense because a lot of times when I'm not preparing food at home, I say to myself, well, I'm intimidated by the seasoning. So when I do prepare something like maybe salmon, it's just so blah and boring. So you've created this book and, and really given us the tools and the proper mixture of ingredients so that we can actually love the taste of what we're cooking? Absolutely, Imagine. absolutely. <laughs> That's what we want to do. We want to enjoy it. I've got a little salad going on over here. I've got okay. a little sherry wine vinaigrette, sherry, a sherry shallot vinaigrette. Okay. One of my favorite mm. vinaigrettes. It's our house dressing, actually, at, at the restaurant. People seem to love it, and people want to buy it by the bottle, but I haven't gotten around to that yet. Well, now you can create that with the cookbook. Some, some walnuts and some blue cheese. We have fewer than 900 of these to go around. This is a limited edition signed. So your copy of the book is going to come autographed. You must have, have you must have higher hands after autographing all of these. Oh, it was okay. It's 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 a good it's a good thing to have. You know, I always tell people people are always afraid of buying a cookbook. They're like, is this cookbook difficult to use? I'm going to say no. You guys can use this cookbook at yeah. home. It's simple recipes. The Ingredients are easy to find. Everybody can cook out of this. And you look, the rest, look, it's not six pages of instructions. Yeah. It's not, so I always say, you know, maybe you should get two of these cookbooks because you need one for the shelf and one to get dirty in the kitchen. I want to see people use this book. Exactly. And I love that you've got, you've got desserts, you've got snacks, you've got over, you've got 130 recipes. Hey, you do need to be in the ordering process right now if you would like to get this autograph booked home. Um, anybody, of course, who's a fan of the show Chopped, which we all are, what a great gift to give to somebody. <laughs> not only is it limited, edition and autographed. We've taken $5 off of the HSN price with free shipping and handling and two flexible payments. So you've got over 130 recipes, beautiful Absolutely. full color pictures, easy to read. It's that inspiration. I love especially to get an, a new cookbook around the holiday season to bring new recipes, new creations into my home for my friends and family. Absolutely. This is such a great one because if you've ever gotten a recipe book home before and you open it up and you're like, well, I don't, I've never purchased that one ingredient before. I have no idea idea where to get it, how to buy it. This is all ingredients that are actually available in your local grocery store. So it's easy to get the ingredients and create these 
uh, delicious dishes. Look that at that. You can see so you can good. see the salt and pepper on there. You can see that it's been seasoned. And now we're doing it on a low heat. We got it. We got the skin nice and crispy. This is exactly what you want when you're cooking. And I'm going to explain that all of that to you in the book. Okay. So in the book, you've got the full color uh, picture. You've got a description of how to prepare it. But here's all of the ingredients, including the spices, because that's what it's about. Seasoning with authority. Absolutely. That's 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 the name of the game. And I always say it. You know, when I'm on Chopped and I'm judging. If people uh -huh. don't season their food, yeah. this is the, the, the it's it's pretty much the basics of cooking. You don't have to go to cooking school to know you need to use salt and pepper and spices. Sure. But again, spices for me, I'm like, I don't know if I should add this one to go along with this one. That can be a little intimidating. You, you, sh you shouldn't be too worried. You know what? Cooking is fun. Cooking is experimental. Use the cookbook and then start playing with some of your own recipes. You know, you can start sort of exploring what you want to what you want to make. Oh, it smells absolutely here we go. delicious. Look at this. These, in look here. At these muscles here. It's just like it's just like being back in the south of France. Smell that. I wouldn't Delicious. know. I'm gonna take your word for it. <laughs> it smells so good. And yes, when you add those those incredible spices, the perfect mixture that really takes your recipe to the next level, that really gives you that uh, intense flavor when you bite right. into it. Do you want to try this vinaigrette? Yes, on this, thank on you. This, uh, I wasn't sure right if you were gonna ask. So. And then these okay. mu these mussels are almost ready. We're gonna cover them for another Is minute. Next? Okay. And we're ready to go. We're absolutely ready to go. Oh my gosh. Okay. That salad dressing is delicious. What spices and, were in and, that? And by the way, this, this really, it's really basically salt and pepper, a little bit of mustard. It's very, very simple. Very, oh very simple recipe. As I said, all the recipes in this book are simple. And you're getting more than 130 of them today. $12.48. With everybody in the ordering process, we are down to just our final quantity um, on this autographed limited edition cookbook from Chef Mark Murphy. So and, whether and you've eaten in, in your restaurants or we watch you on Chopped, you want to get this one home before it's gone. And as I said before, you need that to use all the tools that you're buying today here. Oh my this gosh. 24-hour marathon. I love I it. I mean, you need a recipe to cook those eggs and everything with. Exactly. <laughs> I love all the big, full color gorgeous pictures um, that kind of get your mouth watering when you open the book right off the bat. Exactly. Um, you've broken everything down into appetizers, soups. Um, you really have something for every meal in here. Absolutely. I wanted to, you know, breakfast as well. You got to make sure you got a breakfast. That right there. What is that? That is a, what they call a pain perdu. Which what is, is it called? Uh, pain perdu, which pain is perdu. In, in, in English is in English is French toast. But this okay. is like my this is my this is noisy over here. This is my this is my this is, I serve this at Landmark and people go crazy for this. It I'm, is it's like this big. You have to use a nice crusty bread. It soaks for 24 hours. It's got egg. It's got cognac. It's got cream. It's got sugar. It's got and oh. it, it's a little decadent. I'm oh. I'm going to admit this is the one recipe that oh. you probably shouldn't have every day for breakfast. But every this bread other right day. here every, every other, other day. day maybe every other day. Um, um, okay, beer can chicken. Beer I mean, you're all over the gamut exactly. here. And again, ingredients that we all can buy in our local grocery store. And look at this. Here we got a little salmon. We're a little, little parsley pistou. It's basically, it's it's pesto, but it's just made with parsley. And it's just, it it, it just makes the salmon dish pop. Oh my gosh. And you can yes. also serve that with the ratatouille. You can mix and match the recipes here. You oh, you can? It? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, have fun you know, with this one. Uh, collector's edition, this is going to sell out. It's autographed. Only a couple hundred left. If you are in the ordering process, you you are getting this home today. All of our, our fans of Chopped are grabbing this one up. Uh, $12.48 and free shipping and handling. We're not limiting the number that you can get, but we are final quantity, so you do need to be in the ordering process. Thank you for Thank you so much. And so I'll much see you. Fun.